Tina. All right, looking forward to it. Thank you, Lene. A motorcyclist took to Austin's roads for the annual Peace, Love and Happiness charity ride yesterday morning. The foundation first started 13 years ago when hair care billionaire John Paul DeJoria decided he wanted to give back on his birthday. DeJoria, along with his longtime friend and riding bunny Gary Spellman, started their journey in South Austin, hoping to raise money for the 100 Club of Central Texas. It supports the family of fallen officers. DeJoria says he loves getting everybody on the road year after year. Despite the rainy, yucky weather yesterday, they were still out there. We don't give them a helping hand, and we have a blast, and that's how I choose to uh, spend my birthday. I've done it for 13 years, and it feels really, really good. The Peace, Love, and Happiness charity ride has raised millions of dollars over the years. So far this year, they've raised more than $150,000. Well, startup games, it's expanding. The team behind the popular Austin startup games made its return yesterday with the first ever startup games level up. It's a single day showdown of wits, speed and determination. Local mid-sized businesses battled it out in events including wiffle ball, dodgeball, foosball, trivia, ping pong and Mario Kart. They got everything out there, huh? The winning teams were awarded with medals and the top team earned a check for the charity of their choice. The companies choose uh, which charities to go ahead and give money to, so I know that uh, Habitat for Humanity, Austin Pets Alive, Emancipet, charities like that are being represented today. Looks like a lot of fun. About 900 people attended for the first annual Level Up Games. On Monday, Chipotle Mexican Grill will be hosting a statewide open interview day in each of its Texas restaurants. Part-time and full-time positions will be available. Candidates can visit the company's website to fill out an application online. And coming up in our next half hour of weekend daybreak, the Pope's politically divisive statement during mass. And an 11 year old child genius already offered membership into Mensa. Find out how he uses his smarts.